Hi everybody! Hi. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Erica Barron and this is our newest vet here at the clinic. This is Dr. Christina Bazemore. She's really, really nice. You guys are really going to like her. So Ellen had to leave because her daughter isn't feeling well. So I thought we'd just take a couple minutes so you could meet Dr. Bazemore. You could ask her any questions you have. Um, I have a couple, but feel free to jump in and, and ask your questions too. We also have this kitten named Mouse. Mouse, say hi! She says, I'll be up in a moment. She likes <laughs> Dr. Bazemore's lap a lot, so that's how it is. Hello! Hi. All right. So, Dr. Bazemore, where are you from? I am from Washington, D.C., born and raised. Uh, went to public school here and then attended veterinary school at Virginia Tech. Go Hokies! Hokies! <laughs> All right. Hokies are fun. <laughs> All right, what is your favorite type of cat? Well, I don't have a specific favorite type of cat, but I do love brown tabby patterns. So any of your breeds and brown tabby, I love them. It's always good that we all have different cats we like. Hi, Sophie. You want to ask us about FIP and cats? Okay, hold on just a sec. We're gonna go through the rest of these questions and then we will talk about FIP. Um, feel free to put your question in the comments though and then we'll circle back to that if that's okay. All right, Dr. Bazemore, what are your hobbies? Well, um, I like to sing. Um, I do, well, I didn't get a chance to this summer. I like to go bike, bike riding. Um, the weather's been kind of crappy, so didn't yeah, get an opportunity to do that as much. And then sometimes I like to go roller skating. So Roller skating? Yes. That's fun. <laughs> I haven't been roller skating in a long time. That sounds like a really good time. Yeah. Would you like to sing? Um, whatever's on the radio. <laughs> I'm a shower singer. Uh, me too. Oh, Jamie wants you to sing for everybody. Oh, maybe in another video. All right, she'll work on it. Request what songs you want her to sing, and then we'll go from there. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. All right, so what's your favorite color? I am a pink and red girl, so. Oh, pink and red. Yes. Hi, Ellen, we miss you. We hope hey, Ellen is feeling better. Um, pink. 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 Pink and red. All right. Also, in case you didn't know, Dr. Bazemore's birthday is soon, and she really likes opals because her birthday is in October. <laughs> opals are awesome. Yes. I love opal. Oh, boy. She she reeled you in. Yes, I did reel her in. I did. <laughs> you weren't here, and we haven't done a video in a bit, so I felt like we had to do it. All right. So, what's your favorite holiday? I would have to say probably Christmas, just because of the family time together. So, yeah, my favorite would be Christmas. Last night when I was hanging out with my daughter while she was skipping down the hall and someone gave her a candy cane, she told me she was upset we don't celebrate Christmas because she doesn't get enough candy canes. So <laughs> I told her this year for Hanukkah I would buy her lots of candy, lots canes, of candy canes, and she got very excited. Aww. So <laughs> I was actually thinking like maybe one night of just putting a bunch of candy canes in the menorah. If I do that, I'll have to take a picture for everybody. Yes. So I think that's pretty funny. All right, and what is one of the things you're most excited about being at Nova Cat? I guess the opportunity to pick your brains, um, coming from a smaller practice, kind of limited on the number of doctors, so being able to have more minds to come together as a team to learn more and take advantage of the opportunities that are presented by having multiple doctors on board. So, And I love cats, so it's always exciting just to be able to spend time with them. So. Yes, the rule is you can't be here unless you love cats. That's yes. one of the rules. <laughs> so anyway, if you wanted to meet Dr. Bazemore in person, she is here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, and once in a while on a Saturday. We all say that once in a while on a Saturday. Um, and so far, you've been here like a month, is that right? About a month and almost a month and a half. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to... to diminish your six no, no, weeks here. Okay. Um, and we've been having a great time. So I hope you have the chance to come in and meet her because she's really fun to be around and, and she um, has a great laugh. So let's <laughs> see what these questions are. Let's see. Ooh, hold on. See more. Oh, it's not working. I'm sorry about that. So there's a question about someone going outside of the litter box with a duck. So Ms. Hall, if you could text that in again. I can't see the full thing. I'm sorry about that. Um, and let's see. Um, and somebody else was asking about FIP cats. So for me, I feel like F, um, FIP is a great pretender and I'm pretty good at forgetting about it because it's not super common. Um, 
but when it is calm, when it does happen, it's very tough. There's a couple different diagnostic tests we can do to rule it in or out. Um, I think Ellen and I did a talk about FIP. Unfortunately, one of Ellen's cats a couple of years ago, um, Benny's sister had FIP and it was very sad. Um, so it's not common, but when it happens, it's quite bad. Um, there's a couple markers we can see in blood work. There's a couple markers and a couple tests we can do. Um, so if you have more questions about that, maybe I, I think Ellen and I did a, a talk about this, but if not, we could do one for you if you like. Um, and then Ms. Hall, if, if you can ask the rest of your question, for some reason it isn't all coming on the screen and I'm sorry about that. My parents too, old Golden was with us for a week. My cat did number one outside the box. It's not letting me see more. I'm really sorry about that. So if you want to email us your question, um, for some reason uh, Facebook isn't letting me expand it and I'm sorry. Um, and then we can help you um, from there. Any advice for helping my boys with their sister crossing the bridge before Friday morning? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Do you have anything you like to do or recommend with cats when other pets are crossing over the rainbow bridge? For people who don't know that, that means they're being put to sleep. I guess just continue to show them extra love. I think it's going to be more of what you do afterwards that would be very important. Um, just making sure that you're watching their behaviors and, and appetite and making sure they're not hiding. I do believe kitties do grieve when others go on past the Rainbow Bridge. So I just say keep an eye on their normal behaviors and sometimes you do start to see changes at home where one that wasn't so snuggly is now snuggly now that the other one isn't there. Um, but there are hormones and things like that that also I think help um, them at home to ease with the transition. But it's just extra love and care um, and I think they'll be okay after some time. Some of the pheromones Dr. Bazemore's talking about are things like feel away, you can plug it in. Um, you can also spray the feel away. I always remind people don't let your cat see spray it because cats don't like that. So close the door, spray it on a towel, and then put it out. Um, and you can also try Zilkeen, which is something you put in their food. Um, or you could try Calm Diet, which you can get from your veterinarian. It has tryptophan and casein and it just kind of makes you a little happier. Just like eating a big turkey dinner makes you a little happier. <laughs> Um, so, Ms. Hall, I'm sorry, I saw that you tried to message us a couple different ways and, and for some reason my iPad is, is not letting us um, see the full message. So feel free to shoot it to us and, and we'll try to respond later today if we can um, and we'll try to help you further. How can I get my cat to chill out for vet visits? Great question. <laughs> Ellen and I did a full video about this a couple weeks ago, so feel free to look at that because we went through how to do it from start to finish, best practices. So I would just recommend looking at that. Well, I feel like Dr. Bazemore should probably go see cats that are here to see her. <laughs> so we're going to cut this short. Thanks so much for spending this time with us today, and thanks for getting the opportunity to chat with me um, and Dr. Bazemore. We're happy that you're here, and if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to shoot us a message below. If there's something you specifically want Dr. Bazemore to get on here and talk to me, <laughs> with me, with you about, we can do that, or we'll just go back to me and Ellen because she's... I think her hair might have changed color since our last video, so I, I, I don't want you to miss out on that. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank Bye. you, guys. Nice to meet you all and, hope to look, and look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, she's nice. You'll like her, I promise. <laughs> Bye.